Hello and welcome to another episode of my Facts and Glitches series where I showcase some more of what I have learned about GTA 5 in the over 6300 hours that I have been speedrunning the game. When drinking from a soda machine, enemies will stop shooting at you until you're finished drinking. Later on in the game, when you switch to Michael, you can find him bracing a man who has a very unique defense tactic when threatened. Good. Work hard. Stay focused. Whoa! In the Mission Bureau raid, where you infiltrate the FIB headquarters, the characters take great pains not to break any glass while entering. Let's go, buddy. Got it. Great. <laughs> Better than an elevator. <sighs> However, there are no consequences once you get inside from breaking all the glass. In a previous episode, I explained that your arrow goes black on the map when you get into a car that the police have not seen you in. The same is true for bushes, however it is only really useful for not being seen by air units, as ground units will still tend to find you. Strangely, while playing golf, no time actually passes. Okay, let's go! When going downhill on a bike that can bunny hop, Holding the bunny hop button removes all your traction and makes you slide as if on ice. This enables you to move faster than any other form of movement on the bike. Characters seem to have two stances, one relaxed and one combat. Situations like shooting your gun put you in combat stance and it causes your minimap to zoom in ever so slightly. After about 15 seconds of no action, you will move back into relaxed stance and your minimap will zoom out again. The only real difference I see between the stances is that in relaxed mode you maintain your movement when you switch between camera modes, while in combat mode any shift will cause an abrupt halt to your character's movement and your minimap will continuously move in and out. Following from the comparison in last episode, it actually seems as though Michael is faster in all water vehicles compared to Franklin and Trevor. Comparisons between the three in aircraft and land vehicles has not rendered any difference thus far. Blind firing the grenade launcher makes it shoot a lot faster than standard fire.
On the mission scouting in the port, there is a man with a clipboard. That clipboard is very strong. Just drive careful, all right? Uh, there's guys all over the port who report a reckless driver. Trip! Scouting the port is also the only mission in the entire game that you can finish while you've still got the cops on you. The yellow dot will disappear and yet the cutscene at the end will still trigger. Name of all things holy. <laughs> okay, all right. It is also possible to kill Wade before the cutscene starts, having his corpse lie on the floor for the entire cutscene. <laughs> what in the name of all things holy? <laughs> I, I, I tried coming. Oh, it's, <laughs> there, there, Wade. Look, 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 it's a, you're just not cut out for honest work, all right? <laughs> Did you get what you needed? Yeah, 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 more or less. Fine. Ain't no one understands why Floyd lets her use him so. Above a certain height, regardless of how close you are to a taxi, your character will not whistle for us. While I'm not sure when this first started, the prologue for GTA 5 has had a bug in it for quite some time. This is a comparison between patch 1.47 and patch 1.27. In this first scene you can see there are no differences, but in every other cutscene, the newer patch versions have no magazines in the guns. You do have a magazine outside of cutscenes, so it does not affect gameplay, but it is quite odd in the cutscenes themselves. And so that ends this episode, thanks for watching everyone, I edited this on stream so my Twitch chat says hi and I hope you're all doing well.